morning, family. What's up, fam? Welcome to another adventure with Peggy. And the Don. So today is going to be a very busy day. And we're going to have to break this up into two videos. Okay. You know my son had his baby yesterday. Beautiful baby boy. He loves the Lakers. So I'm, <laughs> I know you can figure out what the baby's name is. <laughs> But yeah, so he was born at 9.30 on December 10th and he weighed, let me make sure I get this right, five pounds, 11 ounces. Yep. They were expecting him closer to January, but uh, he, he said, I wanna come out now. He said, I wanna celebrate Christmas too. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so, and he was, uh, 14 inches. He, my son is pretty tall, so he's going to be a tall baby, but that's yeah. okay. I can't wait to get over there. But anyway, I said all that to say that we're going to get his pantry up and running today. Remember I told you guys that I was going to get all of my, gift my children a prepper's pantry. Yeah. So I'm going to show you the first one that I make and just understand that the other children will get the exact same thing that he's getting. Except yeah. with foods that they like. Yeah, yeah we'll plan on waiting till uh, like either Christmas time or right before Christmas time. But we think it's a good time to go ahead and get ready since they just get ready to bring the baby home now. Yes. Maybe they won't have to go out so much, and maybe they don't have to worry about so much yes. if we get this thing set up right now. Yeah. So I'm just gonna jump the gun a little bit, a little yeah. early present since that's what he is. That's what the grandbaby is. So now. I have to get things that they eat. Remember, these are young adults, late 20s, early 30s. Mm -hmm. She's in her 20s, he's in, he just turned 30. So they eat a lot of junk food. <laughs> but I have to buy food that they're going to eat. Yeah. So please don't come in the comment section. Oh, they need broccoli and they, I don't want to buy it if they're not going to eat it. Yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to get him a jump start on things. I'm not trying to get him an entire uh, pantry for the whole winter you know yeah. what I'm saying like I'm just gonna give him the basics and then he can go from there yeah so what you'll see in this video is I'm gonna go to Costco I'm gonna go to Dollar General I'm gonna go to Home Depot I'm gonna go to Walmart look at Donald's face he didn't know all this <laughs> but we, we I cannot have... <laughs> control I cannot control my facial expression for some reason boy but we have a busy weekend and um, <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to rest on Monday and Tuesday. I'm not going to do a thing, but this is stuff that has to be done. Like, um, we got to get the baby a jacket because in all of our getting, that's one thing we forgot to get. So, yeah, so we're going to be a little busy, but I like being busy. It's better than sitting around the house. So I would rather be busy. Yeah, they're not big on cooking. Um, so the kind of items that we get for our pantry might not really go well for their pantry. You know, like we get like frozen chicken and stuff like that. Not a big cook. And plus you don't want the mama having to cook already. But anyway, um, we will see you in our very first store, which is going to be Walmart. Okay. Alrighty. All right, see you later, fam.
Okay, so family, what we've started with was these green beans here. Cut green beans. Now this is all they had, the one that has no salt added. You see we got them some whole kernel corn. And we got them green beans. This is the young raviolis. Yep, my son eats ravioli like candy. So, like I tell you, when you um, when you're starting your pantry, you must buy the things that you eat. This is not stuff that we would eat, but this is what they eat. I always tell people to start with the ramen noodles, but they eat these anyway. So, we got the chicken flavor. Okay, and then we got two cases of ravioli. The ravioli were 88 cent a can and the green beans and the corn were 50 cent a can. And then we got him this check cereal. He loves this check cereal and uh, Walmart had it on sale today for three dollars. So we got him a couple boxes of those. And we got them some toilet paper. The last time we were over there they had quite a bit so I didn't want to get too much but we, we just got one just to be safe. And then we got the paper towels. They don't use the kind that we use. <laughs> we got them some all purpose flour, and this was $3. And we got them hot dogs because, again, we, we're talking about young people. <laughs> this is what they do. They're not big soda drinkers. They love apple juice. You know, Walmart has that big apple juice for $1.92. So I got them three of those just to get them started. And then I got them vegetable oil. He does not like the uh, grapeseed oil that I use. So I got him that. And then we have the spaghetti, just pasta. So I got them three boxes of the pasta. The pasta was 92 cent a box. Yeah. It was between 88, 88 and 92 cent a box. And then I got them two packs of these macaroni and cheeses because they eat those a lot too. And I want to say the five pack was like uh, $4.98. And we're going to leave this stuff in the car until we take it to them. So we got them some creamy peanut butter and we got them some Welch's grape jelly. Mustard is 80, it's a dollar. So mm. I got them two mustards so they'll have something for the hot dogs. <laughs> I got them some detergent for the kitchen. So one for them and one for us. Uh, this is part of our Christmas dinner, <laughs> these lasagnas. So we're gonna take these and put them in the front. And so I got them the tea ketchup, so they'll have those. And then I got them syrup. That was $1.96. I got them two, two bottles of uh, syrup. Give me cheese sticks. That's for them? That's for us. Oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I wanted y'all to see this because a, a meal plan is coming. So, right. But we want to put all the stuff in the front that needs to be refrigerated because I'm going to... Uh, leave this stuff in my car but i'm gonna park my car in the garage that way um it'll be okay and you know since we got them the syrup i said why not get pancake mix make, make sure you get the complete so you just have to add water some That's of them got to add eggs and butter and milk and stuff like that so the just add water pancakes for people who are just starting out, Peggy said, Donald, if you was like a bachelor or 20 something years old, what kind <laughs> yeah. of foods would you want to get? Yeah. I say, please don't make me cook. Don't <laughs> don't buy rice run where you got to grill the rice first and add uh, four tablespoons of butter and oil and all that kind of stuff. So we avoid that kind of stuff. Everything here is real easy to prep. That mm -hmm. way he ain't got to call on the new mama to try to help him out in the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, we had to get two carts because that's how much stuff we need. For all that pasta, we got pasta sauces. And you know, Old Faithful, those are less than a dollar. So I got, uh, what, six cans? Yeah, I got six cans. That trunk is pretty full. So I told you guys, uh, fruit snacks are a staple in my family. That was under $5 for, for um, 40 
pop a fruit snack. Yeah. So. And then we got them some chicken and broccoli. These are fettuccine packets, and these are good for side items. You know, yeah, when she even though you got to cook it, though, it's easy to cook. Just boil water and add a teaspoon of butter. Yeah. So even I can cook that. So if I can cook it, I know he can cook it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so we got that. And got this, another one. Yeah, we got the butter and egg. Now, these are a dollar each, so I just grabbed the whole box of each one of them because I know they'll go through it. My son will eat this as a meal by itself, so I know this will go to good use. And then we got them grape jelly as well as the strawberry jelly to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They have plenty of bread. And then we got them a thing of salt. And then... The baby comes home Saturday, so we had to get him a little suit to come home in. It's super cute. That was the only one they had that was zero to three months. This is what we're <laughs> going to take him home in. So it's just a little panda bear. It was only 1996, and so I have his blankets and stuff at the house. So I'm going to make a run over there tomorrow to take them the stuff. And that's it. And that, don't forget your uh, shield, baby, because. All right. All right. So we will see you guys in the car. But this is basically everything that we got. And we're just going to leave it in the car until we drive it over to his house because none of this stuff needs to be refrigerated. Okay. I'm telling you right now, you realize what it takes to start a prepper's pantry. I remember when, when me and Peggy started this journey, that first haul was what, $200? No, it was closer to three. Closer to three hundred dollars, and that's yeah. basically what it takes. Yeah. And we had the little plastic shelves, but we're gonna start them off with a good metal shelf, so he's gonna have a slightly better start than we had. But hey, yeah, but it's it's just the start. It's you just know? a start. That's it. And that's just what it takes. But hey, we'll we'll feel better knowing that they're on the way. We took care of the baby early on, like we got pampers and wipes and stuff like that. Like we made sure that the baby was taken care of in that aspect. We yeah. can't, I don't know what kind of milk she'll have or stuff like that. And I'm sure her parents will take care of that. So the baby is good for the summer. So now we just have to get these dogs some food <laughs> and... Yeah. Actually, I'm just going to cash app him money to go get the dog some food because I don't know exactly what kind of food the dog takes. So hopefully when we go over there Sunday, the dog food is already there so we can start stacking it up. Yeah. That's the goal. Yeah, when you um gifting somebody a prepper's pantry, you got you can't just stop with with the items because you got also uh tell them about how to protect everything. Um yes. Me and Peggy was in the store discussing like, okay, how you know, sugar and dry goods in your basement that might lead to like rodents and stuff like that. So how are we exactly. gonna protect that stuff? So we're gonna give them. A, we have some extra of those uh, food safe buckets that we got from Walmart. Yes, we we're gonna start transferring that stuff to that. I'm gonna help him put the shelf together. The shelf he's getting is not gonna be wood like ours. He's actually getting a slightly better shelf. I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> Donald has shelf envy. I, I have right a now. little bit of shelf envy. I don't know if you remember, but we went to Costco a couple of trips back and I saw those shelves and they were better than our shelves. But I'm not going to take our shelves down and replace them with, with new shelves. Yeah. But since they were the same kind of cost ratio, we're going to go ahead and get them the better shelves. Yeah. I'm a little jealous. But we know I'm going to talk to them about protecting it and stuff like that, making sure you are. Uh, uh, keep dust free in very area. Make sure you get some moisture absorbers and stuff like that because he has a basement too. So his basement is a little different from ours, but he does have a basement. So we're not only gifting him food, we're gifting him knowledge. Pre exactly. Prepper knowledge. And he'll be good forever. <laughs> because you, you have to know what the person eats because I keep I know I keep saying it over and over again, but you have to give people what they eat. Like I can't give him what's in my pantry. Yeah. I can't give him everything that's in my pantry because it's he's not gonna eat it. We know he likes chili, but he can't cook chili. He <laughs> likes Peggy's chili. So we're gonna buy him some chili stuff, but it's like 
Nah, probably not. He likes Peggy making his chili. Yes, yeah, so I so, just, whenever he's ready, because I prep for him to come to my house, but now that he has his own child and his own family now, uh, if he calls me and say, can you make me a pot of chili? I'm going to make him a pot of chili and it. take it down there. It's just that simple. I already have the stuff at the house for it, so I'm prepared. So this was a totally different experience for me, Jack, like mm -hmm. trying to... Because when we prep for ourselves, we know what we like, we know what we can cook, we know what we, yeah. we want to do and stuff like that. It's a little different trying to prep for somebody else. They called them like three times. What kind of cereal do you eat? Oh, uh, Do y'all eat this kind of stuff? Do y'all do this? To make sure we're not wasting money and stuff. Exactly. So, so you might want to, that's a good thing. If you're going to start off with a preppers pantry or somebody, find out what flavor noodles they want or find out what kind of cereal they eat or yeah. do you like crunchy versus creamy peanut butter. I know that stuff is not the most important thing because when it comes down to it, when you're hungry, you're going to eat what you have. But if you can, why not take that into consideration? This person don't want to let me over. I don't want Peggy yelling at me this morning. I've yelled at you enough for this week. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to put some in reserve for next week. You got to save some of the yell. I got to save some of it. That's, that takes the fun away. I got to yell sometimes. <laughs> He's too nice to yell at though. Sometimes I have to step back and say, Donald, I'm sorry. You don't you didn't deserve that. I just have to acknowledge that I need some work. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank but she 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 doesn't y'all don't don't get the idea that she's mean and stuff like that. It's just Peggy has a way of getting things done. And when you kinda like try to alter that or suggest an alterations, it can be a little bit grating on her sensibilities. And so I know that about her. She knows this about me. We had that little clash. Then we get past the clash. And we move on. And then we move on. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's all. <laughs> well, I'm so excited about this uh, pen, this preference pen. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you because what you see here for this, this child, I'm going to give to... Well, he's not a child. He's a grown man. <laughs> but... Yeah. I'm going to give them all the same thing. Well, I can't give them all the same thing because they all don't eat the same thing. Yeah. So if it's a really big difference in the preppers' pantries when we do my other sons, I'll come back yeah. and show you what we got him because he is going to be very hard to shop for. Yeah, he's a vegan and he's like, is he? He's is a he pescatarian. Pescatarian and he's alkali-based diet or I don't know what it all is. And I don't is. even, I mean, <laughs> I don't even know if I can take him a can good because he like fresh everything yeah, I don't know we like, might have to bring him with us on that one or something we I don't know what to do with him but I I'm going to be honest I think he's going to need a deep freezer yeah yeah see the son that we shop for now we didn't have to have one because his you know his stuff is not that specific yeah but this the, the next son I'm going to shop for he likes his vegetables and fruit fresh we won't be able to do that we'll probably have to get the bags of organic yeah. vegetables and stuff like that I can see I can see him getting into canning honestly I know that sounds crazy no I can see him planting his own oh yeah, oh, yeah. he's so close oh. like he plants his own herbs in the window at the house already so he's already into that he said that too he said if we get a house in Savannah make sure we got a little bit of land so he can do a garden or something like that so we can do a garden yeah he, he would love for us he to get a few wants acres. That. He wants to be a homesteader. <laughs> so he didn't know what to call it, but that's mm -hmm. what he wants to be. He actually wants to homestead. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be good, but I can't do it because I'm scared of bugs. <laughs> I'm scared of bugs. I'm scared of everything. Yeah. <laughs> I can't help it. But I'm not going to it completely out. Donald didn't know this, but I've been looking at it. <laughs> she, she break, it's breaking news all day long today, right. boy. What else did I not know, baby? <laughs> what else did you were looking at that I didn't even know about? I, I'm See, when we go uh, to Savannah to go actually view the homes, I, I want to look at some land. A house with land. Well, see that that's not even a, that's not like a breaking news to me. I want that. I I yeah. have always wanted a little extra land on our property. And then we could start slow. You know what I'm saying? And if it's something that we could deal with. 
But see, my 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 thing is when I when I thought about getting land, I wasn't increasing my budget. So I was planning on getting a smaller, uh, a lower level home, and I didn't yeah. think that was something that Pig would be up for. But maybe get a, a home that's a couple years older. I don't know if it come with land or something. I don't know. We're just gonna look into it. We're not gonna. Uh yeah. say but we're gonna surprise you guys and I'm, I'm hoping it's a great surprise because i would love to be a homestead but i'm like i'm, I'm afraid of chickens <laughs> I'm and I'm, I'm afraid of everything but sometimes you just have to get over your fears she was watching uh what's her name homestead heart homestead heart hey girl <laughs> <laughs> she was watching homestead heart and they and they had to go ahead and harvest the chickens i don't know what you want to call it it was time to uh Send the chickens to the deep freezer and stuff, and she watched that whole thing. Like you know, I watched I it. Listen, I watched that video three or four times. They are so knowledgeable, and they do things in a humane way, mm -hmm. so to speak. And I'm like, I think I can do that until I get there to until try to she, do yeah, it, she and then I can't it. do it. But <laughs> I, they, they touch my heart with that one, like. They prayed first, and then they did what they had to do for their family. And it was so, it was, I understood what they were doing, but it made me shed a tear a little bit. Yeah. And I was just like, they, they are such great people. Like, I, I don't want to do it, but <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. I, I can't. I mean, I, if, if we, when we move to Savannah, if my sons want to come, and they want to be, what do you call them? Farm hands? Oh, what, yeah. Whatever. Farm hands. Let's go with farm hands. We don't know what we're doing, but we're going to do a lot of research on it. And we're just going to see where it goes. Like, I don't want to have a cow or horses or nothing like that. Yeah. But I can see myself having a few chickens, maybe a duck uh, or two. And maybe, like, just growing my fruits and vegetables, you know? Just, yeah. just growing my fruits and vegetables. So we'll see how that goes. I know we've been talking y'all ear off, but we're going to get us some breakfast before we go into Costco. So I won't do too much extra shopping. Okay. So we'll see y'all in a little bit, family. We'll grab some breakfast and uh, we'll see y'all at Costco. See you at Costco. My life wasn't perfect. Yeah, I know that now. When it came crashing down, all I know is that I need you around. When it comes crashing down, all I need is not to feel so much alone. So step inside my zone, baby, you can give me everything I want. Everything I want. Always dance and sing You're captivating me All I need is to know that I'm in your heart And never be apart All I need is not to feel so much alone Alright family, so we did not get much from Costco We did get the shelving unit It was $69.99 yeah. We just got a gallon of milk Gotta get the eggnog did you see it? Yes. Uh, we got freezer bags. This is a really good deal. You get 152 for $14.99. Gotta have these cheese slices for Donald to make his grilled cheese. Bags. I'm big. <laughs> I'm big on grilled cheeses now for some reason. So you get 96 slices for $9.99. Yeah. It's a good deal. Of course, you gotta have the regular bread. Now, we're gonna try this soup. This is something new. I feel like I'm gonna like it already. Cause you know, tomato soup goes good with grilled cheese. And so, you get six boxes for 12 bucks, about two bucks a box. <laughs> There's love these Vienna sausages. This was $7.99 for 18 pounds. So, yeah. 
We're gonna try to load up the trunk. Now we can see if we can get it into this trunk. And call it a day. And call it a day. Hey family, so we're back. We are finally done shopping. Yep. We got we took I'm glad we took Peggy's truck today. We could not have done this in my little car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we got everything in there. I didn't think it was possible, but I think we're gonna get them off to a very good start. I got, yeah. I still got a little bit of shelf envy. Yeah, it's the exact same size as ours for twenty five percent less money. Yeah, but um, I just think this is a good idea. And right now, my children don't understand my thought process behind it. But I mean, last year I bought Air AirPods and stuff like that. You know. $200 for ear pods or $200 for Apple Watch or something like that. Instead of doing that, I add a couple bucks with that $200 and now you have a food shelf. Yeah. You know, a, a pantry. Now you have a pantry. So, right now they don't get it, but well, the son that I'm doing it for today, he's all for it all of a sudden. Since the baby was born, he was like, yeah, I gotta make better decisions and you're right and I wanna do it. So he actually called me. I didn't call him. Yeah. He called me. And he was like, whatever you want to do, I'll, I'll accept it. He said, I'll add to it. So I'm, I'm giving him a great jump start. And he can take it from there. All right. Yep. So that's about it for part one. Um, we'll be doing part two when we take this stuff over to his house and get everything set up and uh, giving him a little bit of information. I'm also going to take over a few things like flashlight, maybe a couple of folding stoves and some some stuff like that, just to try to give him a great little start and give him some ideas of what he can have for the rest of his pantry. Um, and we're going to try to bring it all to you. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate the support. Uh, yes, we haven't do. said it in a while, but we, um, we really appreciate our, the support you guys have shown us, all the love you've shown us, and inf information you provided. Yes. Um, you got anything else to add, babe? No, just thank you to our family, our subscribers. You guys are fantastic. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're we're asking people to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We want to thank our oldie but goodies, yeah. and we want to welcome our newcomers. And we just want to thank you guys so much. Have a blessed weekend. And like we always say, remember to goddamn and do something good for yourself and for others as well. And for others as well. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all take it easy, fam.